These are your assembly instructions for assembling the Burlington basket bassinet. First we'll go over our parts. You have your leg braces. There should be two of those. Your wheels, which have the wheels, the screw, and your locking knob. Your body. You have two legs. Your legs will have the bolts on it, taped onto it. You have your hood frame, mattress pad, liner set, and baskets if they are included along with your instructions. You do need two screwdrivers to put it together. Um, they can be standard or Phillips. Um, and your first thing to start would be to go ahead and get your legs off. And get your bolts off the legs. And when you start putting your legs on, there is a side that does say tray. Go ahead and put that on the inside of the bassinet and put them over your legs like so. And you'll get your two screwdrivers and your long screw goes from the inside to the out and you put them through your hole. They will snap into place. Make sure it's all the way in and then you proceed to Use the one screwdriver on the one side to hold the screw. On the other side, you can go ahead and use to screw the screw in. And you can go ahead and get that nice and tight. And you do the same thing for the next one. Make sure you're using your big screw on the inside. And put it through the hole. It will snap into place. Screw it in. So you have to do the same thing on this one. Holding the screwdriver on the one side and using the other screwdriver to screw the screw in. You proceed to do this to all four, all together the legs. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and go for your leg braces next. Leg braces look about the exact same piece as they are. One side you'll see the notches, and the other side you will not. You go ahead and put your notches in the hole, pushing all the way through. Same thing on the other side, pushing all the way through. And once you have it in place, it is going to be like this. Then you need to go ahead and turn it towards you, and now it is locked into place there. Proceed to do the same thing on the other side. If it doesn't fit one way, you just flip it the other. And pushing it all the way through on both sides again and then turning and again you're locked into place there you can go ahead and get your casters out take the locking knob off of it and you'll see that you have your screw and your caster in your hand the caster with the square the square goes on the end side and put your screw through and it should lock into place because it does have that square piece to hold on to. Get your locking knob and go ahead and put that into place. Once you have it on you can go ahead and proceed to do that to all four um, wheels and put them on if you do want it to roll. If you want it to rock it's as simple as just go ahead and unscrew it some and then um, kind of pull it up like so and go ahead and lock it back into place. This makes it so it does rock. And like I said, you do proceed to do the wheels on the rest of them. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and put your bassinet onto the floor. And I like to kind of have it this way. That way, this is the top of your bassinet here. Go ahead and get your liner set out your liner set, you will have your liner, hood cover, and pad cover. Go ahead and grab your hood frame, your hood frame, and then you look at your hood cover and it does have these two elastic sides, one on each side. Using, putting over the wide piece here, and you do that for both sides, sliding your elastic loop over the Y pieces, 
once you have that done, you should be able to go ahead and spread your hood cover onto the frame. And making sure your ruffle's at the top and stuff, and not all underneath here. should look like so after you're done. Go ahead and grab your liner set. Your liner set has a warning label inside of it. The warning label goes at the end of your bassinet. And once you put it on there you will find two buttonhole type holes in your liner. They're going to go over your knobs right here. That's your hood cover knobs. Go ahead and find your one on the other side and do the same thing. Once you have that done in place, you can go ahead and proceed to pull the liner set over close to your bassinet here. A lot of people like to go ahead and wash their liner and um, iron it and everything before you even go ahead and put it on in your bassinet. And then you can go ahead and grab your hood frame. Your hood frame just slides right down over the knobs on both sides and once you have that on it's set to go that way now you can go with your pad and pad cover you can just take your pad cover put it over the pad like so pads are supposed to be one inch thick which is what we do have And that just sets down in your bassinet like so over the liner. A nice soft little sleeping room for baby. After that, you have wicker baskets. You will not have a tray that goes underneath. All you need to do is go ahead and take your baskets and they will set on the rails down underneath there. Like so. And then some of our bassinets come with willow baskets which you will have a tray for. And take your tray and just snap it in place down underneath. Once you have that in place, you can grab your willow baskets, which looks more like a stick type basket. And they just set down underneath like so. And there you have your assembled bassinet. Um, some of them come with a ribbon or a bow, and you'll find that inside here, and you just Put them on, onto your liner set. Your bow will go at the end down here. Um, your main points here is to make sure that you do have go through and go ahead and tighten. Make sure all your screws are tightened here. Make sure you have your leg braces locked into place. That means your piece should be going up and down, not sideways. If it is not put together right, it does have a tendency to not hold right. Um, Otherwise, everything's set and your baby's all ready to go to bed.